one of the stories I did this week was about an Indian movie star who's coming to Vancouver to win, uh, to receive an honorary doctorate from Simon Fraser University. And she's, uh, her name is Shabana Azmi. She's not that well known in North America, although she has, has somewhat of a following, but she's a household name in India. And she's also known for her political activities. Uh, Shabana Azmi burst into prominence in, in 1974 in an alternative film. And what she played was the role of a woman who was having an affair, um, a married woman who was having an affair. And that was very adventurous at that time in India in 1974 to be doing something like that. And the director, Sham Benegal, was an alternative director. And this was what led to the creation of what's known in India as the parallel cinema. And the parallel cinema is, you know, it's like art house films. And it's they're different from the traditional mainstream Bollywood fare, which are generally family stories with happy endings and um, a dance number or a few dance numbers thrown in between with the big stars. But the parallel cinema and Shabana Azmi, she's done a lot of it... Um, adventuresome films. Uh, one that I really liked was called 15 Park Avenue in 2005. And this, she played the role of a professor and her sister, uh, played by Konkana, uh, had schizophrenia. And it was a very serious um, and sober examination of mental illness and done in a, in a, just an outstanding film. Um, Shabana Azmi's also performed um, in films uh, directed by Deepa Mehta, who's a, a well-known Canadian director of Indian ancestry. And uh, perhaps the most famous was Fire. And this was a 1996 film in which Shabana Azmi played, uh, a, got into a lesbian relationship with uh, her co-star, and they were sisters-in-law. And it was extremely controversial in India. What happened was uh, the Shiv Sena, which is a Hindu fundamentalist party in the state of Maharashtra, uh, went crazy over this film because they said it was it was sinful, it was terrible, it was sending the wrong message to young people. And they would harass people going to the movie theaters. And they would do things like uh, shatter the glass of, of the cinemas that were showing the film. And it caused a national uproar. So um, this is Shabana Azmi. Uh, she's very courageous. Um, one of the things she did in the mid-80s was she actually went on a hunger strike on behalf of slum dwellers. And this is, if you think about this, this is quite incredible. It would be like Angelina Jolie um, deciding to go on a hunger strike uh, for the poor. But this is what she did. Um, she's a Muslim, and she's been very critical at times of, of the Hindu extremism that sometimes occurs in India, which can lead to discrimination. Uh, so Simon Fraser University has decided to honor her, and she'll be here. Uh, it's a preview for the Indian Summer Festival. Um, one other story that that we had in the paper this week uh, was by Carlito Pablo, and that dealt with the Patello Bridge. And TransLink has come forward with 25 options for how to deal with the Patello Bridge, and that's the link that basically connects downtown uh, New Westminster with North Surrey, uh, just just past the Columbia Columbia Strip in New West, the people in New West are concerned about all the traffic that comes through. There's something like 450,000 cars a day go through New Westminster vehicles, and it's always been a concern for the city council there and a lot of the residents. Uh, Surrey residents, on the other hand, want better access to the north side of the Fraser River. So one of the councillors in Surrey and the new BC Liberal MLA, Marvin Hunt, is calling for you know, a, a better Patello Bridge that will allow for more traffic, whereas the, the councillors in, in New Westminster are concerned about that and the impact that that will have on their community. So this is going to be an ongoing thing. It happens as actual driving is, is decreasing across North America. And there's an organization in Seattle called the Sightline Institute which has a series of articles. It's called, Hey Dude, Where Are My Cars? And basically what, what it makes the point is that, that people are driving less, particularly younger people. So it questions whether we should be building as many roads or expanding our bridges. The Portman Bridge traffic, for instance, peaked in 2005. It's gone down ever since, yet the provincial government just built a 10-lane 
uh, bridge, new bridge, new Portman Bridge, and there's questions whether that will actually reach the amount of traffic that, that they'd anticipated. And if it doesn't, it means there will be less toll revenue for the government and possible financial problems for the government down the road. So it's been a lot of fun being on WOW TV again. I'm Charlie Smith, Jong Bin Jo, uh, Georgia Strait, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching today's Zha Wen story. We'll see you next time.